YouTube family? Welcome back. <laughs> if you are joining us for the first time, please subscribe, like, and share this video. If you have been watching us, thank you so much. And we really appreciate you. And we want you to know that we truly do consider you part of our community and our family. And we feel like that's what we're building here. From the bottom of our hearts, we try to say this as much as we can. Thank you. It means a lot to us. It really and does, guys. So today, we're going to go continuing with the interviews that we have been doing. But today, we're actually going to talk about being stuck. And I'm going to ask Aaron some questions. And we're going to dive into that because we know a lot of people out there are going to be able to relate to it. The word stuck. Stuck. Uh, Aaron has said that to me a lot um, yeah. over the course of our relationship. And I know that a lot of people out there are going to relate to just feeling stuck. Yeah. And we're going to very specifically talk about how it relates to, I guess, anxiety. The first question that I have for you is, when you say, I feel stuck, two things. What does it feel like and can you talk about how it ties into your anxiety and things like that? I've been given this a lot of thought because obviously I knew we were going to talk about being stuck. I didn't mm -hmm. know his questions. I don't know what questions he's going to ask me. Um, and that's a good one. But I, I've actually been changing kind of my definition. So I feel like in a lot of ways what my definition of being stuck feels like now versus what I thought it was is my inability to be my true self. Okay. And I, I think if you're watching this and you're in a place in your life where you feel stuck, I would ask yourself the question, am I living the life that I see myself wanting to live that I know in my heart I should be living and am I being that person? And I think if you answer any of those questions, no, then that may be why you're feeling stuck. Because I feel like over the last few days mm -hmm. coming up to this interview, I've really been self-examining and I, I think it's not so much now stuck used to be for me. It, it was a feeling of, well, I can't do it. But what I feel today at this present moment is the best way to find being stuck is not being able to be authentically who I really am. It's the, the whisper. Yeah. You know, it's mm -hmm. the whisper inside of you. It's the, it, you know, for me, I identify that as God. A lot of people yeah, may identify sure. that as something different, but for me, I feel Your like higher self. it's, it's the, the instinctive, like, knowing within mm -hmm. that this is not just not right this is not right yeah what when you get that that feeling i think this is important when you get that feeling of you know the whether it's the higher self or the whisper what does it sound like and can you describe how you, how it how it kind of takes you out of that feeling stuck I want to use an example. Mm -hmm. It's one that I have used for a very long time and it happened at the age of 38 because I say that I didn't really find myself completely until I was 38. Like mm -hmm. I found parts of her, but at the age of 38 on a set in LA, I feel like I really met Aaron and it was the Aaron that I always knew I was that everybody kind of tried to tell me things and 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 would try to say like oh you're just that person that's never going to be satisfied you're what i realized was that when i was on that set in la and i was living my authentic self mm -hmm. and i was vertical mm -hmm. with who i really was instead of horizontal mm -hmm. i was vertical mm -hmm. and i i realized that at that moment she did exist there's more for me. It's, it's almost like it, Moana. I, well, I, and I, 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 I was going to say that. I, no, I was going to say so. Mo, or Mo, Mo, Moana, or the second Frozen, where she goes, ha, ah, like, yeah, I, I, like you like know the, what I mean. And that's and that's I would, what I'm thinking. Like, like yeah, and ah. I would, like, I would be, but I would be in bed at night, and it would yeah. be like a tick yeah. or a noise that just, you know, like I, 
I couldn't silence inside of myself. Couldn't shake and, it. and there were yeah. so many times where I would think, I am fucking crazy. Like I am fucking crazy. Well, I and, I can see and maybe where, yeah. you know this is this is part of the well, cause, trauma because it, like it could drive you nuts. Like yeah, because, because I you're would, thinking, am I hearing things? Like is this real? Do I am I or am I just am I lying to myself? Well, because and there's, just something, and there's else out there. something that is missing, and I'm incomplete. And mm -hmm. what is it? And why can't I be happy? And what am I broken? Also realizing that. You're the only person that can make yourself stuck mm -hmm. and you're the only person that can unstick you. Essentially, yeah. my best advice to anyone that's watching this, and hopefully you are watching this, is just know that no amount of money, no perfect partner, no perfect home, no perfect job, none of that will make you feel unstuck if you are living a lie aka not being your true self. If there's anything that I can stress to anybody watching this right now is if you are having anxiety, if you are having depression, if you feel stuck, the chances are it's because your inner roar is it's dying to come out. Yeah. And and you have to let it. That's the thing. You're not going to roar if you don't give yourself permission to do it. So I completely agree. And I'm going to, I just, I think what you're saying is just absolutely amazing. It's so divine the way that the words can flow out of you. And, and it, and it, it just excites me because one day you're going to be saying it to thousands upon hundreds of thousands of, of people, not just women, but I think just people. And, you know, and that's going to be that time. And what I love about God's timing is that it always is going to come. You, you may not feel ready for it, but he'll know when you're ready. So trying to make me cry. Oh, I could make you cry. Like Try uh, so the last question I have is, and it's going to tie into being able to help people. So, when you like right now because obviously you had great insight but when you get to those places where you feel stuck yeah uh what are some tips or what are some things that you do to get your because i watch i watch you kind of get yourself out of those places you know yeah. I, I watch you go there so what are some what are some things that you do to get yourself uh unstuck well, there's an exercise that I have that I lead a lot of the people that I coach okay. through. Mm -hmm. And why don't we do it right now? Okay. Okay. Let's do it. You'll be you'll be my coaching person and then that okay. way anybody at home that may feel stuck can do this as well because this is what I often do. Okay. So I want you to close your eyes. Okay. Now I want you to imagine yourself in a field. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's, it's a golden hour. So it's like okay. the golden hour. It's the lighting is perfect. Okay. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. Um, and there's like wheat and barley and, and wildflowers everywhere. And you're just running at the speed of light. You're just running and your hands are wide open. You can feel the sun on your face. Mm -hmm. You can feel the, the breeze. You can feel the warmth all over you and you know how good that feels, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so open your eyes and now tell me what in your life today makes you feel like you felt just then in that analogy. Traveling the world with you and the kids and just it's like wherever we go, feeling the sun on me and staying there and watching all of you. The warmth of the sun, wherever we are, watching my favorite people enjoy where we are. So see, if we were to go deeper, mm -hmm. right? Um, you're not living your authentic self. Correct. Either. 
Correct. And and you know that. Right. That's uh, one of so that's one of the exercises that yeah. I do with my clients and I also do with myself. Mm -hmm. And so I know that when I close my eyes and I see myself as that kid or even as the adult running mm -hmm. just carelessly and 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 with no caution and in that field and then I open my eyes like numerous things come to my mind mm -hmm. and I'm reminded that oh I feel that way when I'm dancing yeah oh I feel that way when I'm playing with the kids and I'm really present living to the children and I'm playing tennis with them yeah. or I'm hiking with them oh I feel that way when I'm in sexy time with Chris um, <laughs> Oh, that's a good thing. I way. feel that way when I'm on stage and I'm doing discover your roar. Mm -hmm. And so what I know though, is yeah. that then you have to take it and you have to isolate it because remember mm. what I said, it's all just, it's just me. You. Yeah. Then I can say vertical, mm -hmm. authentic Aaron. It's when she's dancing. It's when she's performing on a stage, helping mm -hmm. other people. And I will also say that when I am not, like, as I run through that field, when I am not having to hold back yeah. who I am mm -hmm. because of an algorithm yeah. or a comment right. or the community that I'm surrounded by, that I yeah. live in, right. when I'm able to do exactly what I want to do. And, and don't get me wrong, that doesn't mean that you can it doesn't mean do outlaw, reckless things. Right, it doesn't mean being an outlaw but, or breaking, or but breaking when I'm not, you know, that. One other thing that I do is I really do grounding exercises. So a lot of times mm -hmm. I'll take my shoes off mm -hmm. and I'll be barefoot and I'll just go and I'll stick my foot or my feet really on the earth. Yeah. Being in nature. Yeah. I really experience God in nature yeah. and I know that my roar comes from God mm -hmm. because it's right. my purpose. Right. So another thing is praise music, like as, as ratchet as the music, that's a word we've been using a lot today, yeah. but as ratchet as the music that I love is, I start my day with praise and worship music and I start my day with the Bible. Our pastor in a sermon a few weeks ago said that when he does something great now. A lot of times his wife will say, what would 17 year old Steven think? Right. And so what I've been doing very recently, and I was even doing it yesterday in the bathroom, was looking around and going, what would 18 year old Aaron think? Right. And when I remind myself of how far I've come mm -hmm. and how much I've already accomplished I'm then reminded that it's not like I lost my roar only one time. Mm -hmm. I did find her again. Yeah. And, and so that's another thing that I want to encourage anybody watching today is that, again, it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter how damaged, damaged you are. It doesn't matter how many times you have failed. Okay? Get up and roar because you can we hope that you guys found this interview we know helpful. you did we, we we know you did we know you did and as always we just ask you to please subscribe like share comment all the things if you feel led to and otherwise we'll see you again very very soon deuces, deuces.